And one match uh, that a uh, new addition, I guess, that, that I'm psyched about is uh, the championship scramble. I know they had, like, the hard, like, back in the day, it was just under hardcore rules or something like that where the they had the time limit for the hardcore rules. Yeah. And now y'all y'all brought back the championship scam- scramble. Yeah. It's a cool match type. Uh, you know, uh, we pretty much just mimicked, you know, uh, what WWE did uh, for last year's Unforgiven when they debuted the match. Um, mm-hmm. It's cool in the game because I, mean, I think uh, the default time limit is 20 minutes, and uh, and of course we have that in the game, but we also have you know five, ten, and 20 minute variations of it, and uh, and it's cool because every title in the game, and we have even some unlockable titles like uh, we've got the old school WCW World Heavyweight Title, the Cruiserweight Championship is still alive in SmackDown versus Raw. Uh, <laughs> can, you can have a champion scramble match and uh, you know put up any title in the game, even the mm-hmm. uh, in the women's championship. So it's really cool. It's a fun match, uh, especially when you get some friends uh, over, you know, at the house or, or playing online or whatever. It's really fun. Now, I don't know if it is this year, or do you think it will ever be a time where it's uh, championship scrambles embedded to other like ladder match championship scra- scramble and stuff like that? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be great. That'd be cool as hell. Have yeah. to see what WWE does. We try to, uh, you know, we don't. We try to you know be as uh, as authentic to the WWE mm-hmm. you know uh, universe and and programming as possible. So uh, I'd like to see what they come up with. All right. Now I'm pretty sure you've gotten this question all the time, but you know a lot of people are upset because certain the legends some legends aren't you know available. Yeah. You know, why why is it that you guys went that route of excluding the legends? Um. Well, we didn't exclude. All the legends. We got a couple of them in there. We have, uh, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin's available. Uh, mm-hmm. The Rock it hasn't been inducted yet, but I mean, he's a legend. And we got a couple other unlockable characters, but uh, but you are. It is true that you know over the past what was it a couple of years we kind of started fading out the unlock the legends from the game. They've been such an integral part of the SmackDown series. But uh, it's all about you know because we have you know we had Legends WrestleMania that we released uh, some months ago. Mm-hmm. Which was, you know, very legend specific title. Um and we just wanted to kinda, you know, have each game be its own uh have its own unique identity. So, you know, for SmackDown versus Raw, we want that to be the you know, what the current goings ons of the WWE and you know what's current with them as far as their uh their the, the roster and everything like that. Uh but you know, yeah, we I you're right, I do hear this question a lot, uh and it's been mentioned in a lot of uh, rev- of our reviews too, saying that they wish that there were more legends uh, available. So uh, you know, you never know. I mean, with enough people uh, voicing their their displeasure for not have, for their lack of legends, you know, we may we may implement them back in the game. And how how uh, closely do y'all follow? You know, whether people are posting on IGN or wherever, and and make adjustments, you know, towards that. Um, well, how big of an influence? Uh, it's it's an influence. I wouldn't say it's it's a big influence because at the same time, I mean, I, I like reading you know uh, message boards. I'm kind of a glutton for punishment, uh, <laughs> and the stuff that people put up there can be pretty uh, pretty. Uh, but for every kind of nonsensical or kind of rambling post, there there are some good you know uh, some good feedback, uh, whether positive or negative, that's put in a very you know succinct and, and comprehensible way. So I mean, it's definitely you know one outlet that we use to kind of gauge fans' reactions to things, but at the same time, I mean, that is a very, uh, it's, a, it's a very vocal minority of the overall, you know, big picture of people that play the game. So we, we can't, right. you know, I don't, we don't want to let this uh, small, you know, group of, of players, you know, kind of dictate the overall direction of the game. But we definitely do take their, uh, their feedback into account. Definitely. We don't discount their voice. All right, Brian, we have a caller on the line. I'm going to put you on the spot. Will you take a call? Yeah, sure. All right, from the 313 area code, you'll be on with Brian from THQ and Hit the Ropes Radio. Oh, this is Demetrius, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was Demetrius. So hey, you, you, say, you say caller from the, from the 313. Uh, you know, I do kind of work for this show, you know, from time <laughs> to time. You're uh, not the only one in Detroit. Yeah, that's true. I'm not the only Detroit that, that uh, well, I don't listen. I'm I'm a co-host, but, I mean, I, I know my, uh, the region of uh, Detroit is that listen to the show. I was enjoying the interview, man. Uh, 
Uh, I'm really excited about the SmackDown vs. Raw uh, 2010 game. I was playing 09 with my son this this past weekend. He kicked my butt in the Royal Rumble a couple times, so I got to get my practice in to get better. But did you guys um did you guys ask the uh, cause I like I said I'm just getting on here. Did you guys ask the uh, the the Jeff Hardy uh, Kennedy question? Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, about the cutoff date. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I I missed that. So. Um, but no, I guess with the, um, I guess my question would be, um, you know, the, the road to WrestleMania feature is, is still on the 2010, uh, edition. Is that right? Yes, it is. Uh, oh, I'm glad you brought that up. I would have forgot. Yeah. Road to WrestleMania is back. Uh, we've, uh, got, uh, six brand new stories, uh, you know, some different cast of characters this time around. We have one story that is, uh, you know, for, you know, your creative superstar, which is something that we didn't have in last year's title. We also have a story, uh, a diva specific story starring Mickey James. I mean, everybody loves Mickey James. Wow. And then we've got stories uh, starring Edge, uh, Randy Orton, uh, Shawn Michaels, and we have a, a brand warfare story uh, starring Triple H and John Cena, which can be played uh, co op. And the, the whole brand warfare ah. is kind of like uh, what they're doing with his bragging rights. It's uh, kind of like a SmackDown versus Raw themed story. Uh, my favorite story of the bunch, probably, I mean, probably the Shawn Michaels story. It's really, really cool. Uh, he's uh, JBL is the main villain in that, and he's trying to uh, force Shawn Michaels to retire. And uh, throughout the course of the story, HBK is trying to prove that he's still the showstopper, that he's still got it. It's really cool stuff. Wow, yeah, th- that was definitely one of my uh, one of my favorite uh, features from the old nine game, and it just sounds like. Just based on what you're saying there, the enhancements for 2010 sound like it's, it's even better. Yeah, it's 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 crazy the amount of new stuff that we've been able to uh, cram into the game this year, especially in the you know the short amount of time that we have to make these games. Uh, you know, everyone on the team, you know, from my coworkers Dan Ryan, Justin Leeper, uh, Jonathan Durr, you know, the developers in, at Ukes in Japan, like everybody was just hitting on all on all cylinders uh, working on this game, and uh, it shows in the game. I can't wait for you to play it, man. I can't wait for all you guys to get your hands on it. Definitely. We're going to have to we, get we, we, would, we would love some, you know, free, free copies, you know, hand, hand a cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what we can do about that. I, yeah, man. Got to get you guys, got to hook you guys up with something. That's awesome. Uh, we've got a question from Kevin in the chat room. He wants to know uh, your favorite uh, game mode on on uh, 2010. What's your personal uh, favorite game mode? Ah, uh, it's a tough one. Um... Let me see. It would, uh, I would say either the Royal Rumble. I really love the Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble this year. The Royal mm-hmm. Rumble and um, you know, create a finisher. We uh, you know we had that in 2009. We uh, debuted that, and uh, you know we have it back in uh, 2010. And uh, but now you can create finishers from uh, the top rope, uh, dive finishers from the top rope. I spent a lot of time uh, in there creating some crazy moves. That's really fun. But I guess the Royal the Royal Rumble is probably my favorite. That and. Uh, Oh, story design is really cool too. Uh, it's too much. The whole entire game, the entire game as a whole. Brian, let me ask you this about the creative finisher. How does yeah. that work? Because, like I mentioned, I didn't get my hands on uh, 2009. How does that work? Is it like you can you you know select from the rock bottom and then in the middle of the move switch it into a power bomb and switch it into Stone Cold? How does how does that work? Yeah, it's it's really easy uh, how it works. It's essentially you know you go into the to the mode and uh, you know you can create finishers from two positions, uh, the front grapple position and then like I had mentioned uh, from off the top rope. But it's essentially as easy as uh, you know you start out with you can start out with a taunt or just go straight into it with a strike or a grapple hold and you're just basically just piecing together uh, different motions. Uh, it's almost like uh, creating a, or piecing together a puzzle. Um, and there is a lot of freedom. Uh, you know, you mentioned, you know, do, going from a rock bottom into a power bomb. I'm not sure if you can do that. Uh, there's all there's all kind of uh, cool things and and uh, and parts that you can uh, piece together to create, you know, something truly original. Um, there's over, oh man, what is it? Something like between including both positions, there's like between 800 to 1,000 different uh, animations that you can, uh, you know, use to uh, piece together to create your move. It's really cool stuff and. Like I said, it's really easy to get in and just start creating something uh, on the fly. It doesn't have any kind of learning curve to it at all. All right. Now, what what is your what are your guys' um, 
plans for the future as 